Greetings and salutations, I'm Zook, your lovable Norman, and welcome to Geeks Anonymous. In this video, we'll be showing you how to install the IRO Wiki Launcher, changing your Zoom settings, and showing you how to customize your user interface. All of the appropriate links are listed in the doobly-doo below for your convenience. The first thing you do is download a clean client of IRO. You can download this at Warp Portal, but it is highly advised to use the IRO Wiki's version instead, as the other client may cause some compatibility issues. Then we download the IRO Wiki Quality of Life Patcher from the same page. Once we're done downloading, extract the files to a folder of your choice. In this case, I extract them to a folder named Ragnarok onto my desktop. Navigate to the Ragnarok directory and find the Ragnarok executable file and open it. Allow it to fully patch and you may log in to see some of the minor changes to the client. But now, the magic happens. Extract the IRO Wiki Patcher in the same directory that you extracted the client in and overwrite any duplicate files. Navigate Navigate down to the Ragnarok Wiki executable to be greeted by the beautiful Ricardo Milos. Patch the client, but don't use this launcher to launch the game. Instead, close the launcher and open it with the Ragnarok executable. You will notice now that you have a defaulted top-down view that orients the map based on the cardinal directions with north being defaulted to the top of the screen. You will also notice that you can zoom out much further in and out and can change to precise camera angles for great screenshots. Now this is a matter of preference and if you wish, you could stop here and enjoy the game as is. However, one caveat to this is that this version, you can no longer double right click to reorient yourself. This was a bit of a deal breaker for Kaz and I and almost caused us to not use the client until a little pouring told us of a secret to enable the old Zoom settings. To do this, we need to download and install the GRF editor as well as the original Zoom file listed in the links below. Upon installing, navigate to your Ragnarok folder and open the data.grf file in your GRF editor. Click the merge option and browse to find the original Zoom GRF. Hit merge and wait for the process to complete. Then hit file and save. Finish for this last progress bar to complete, and you're done. Now you can actually take your experience even further with the assistance of some great artists who have contributed to the IRO wiki over the years with beautiful user interface skins. Head to the website and choose the one you like and download the file. Navigate to the skins directory of your Ragnarok folder and extract the file there. Note that you may have to create a folder to contain the contents of the zip if one doesn't already exist in the compressed file you download. Open Ragnarok and head to your game settings and change the skin. You'll notice new graphics throughout your new user interface and are ready for your customized Ragnarok experience. Congratulations! Hello. And that concludes today's Ragnarok Online tutorial and thank you to all the little pourings that suggested this video. And if you'd like to join the lovely pourings in chat, go to twitch.tv slash geeksanonymous and we'll see you there. Until next time, toodaloo. Goodbye!